Imagine a small Caribbean nation, long isolated by economic sanctions, making a bold and surprising bid to join one of the world's most powerful economic alliances. Cuba has officially applied to join BRICS, a coalition that could redefine the balance of global power. This move could be transformative, not just for Cuba but for BRICS and the international landscape. But what does this significant step really mean for Cuba? What impact will it have on BRICS? And how might it alter the world stage? Stick with us as we unpack the layers of this pivotal development in global geopolitics and explore what the future may hold for Cuba and BRICS in a world grappling with shifting alliances. But before we proceed into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it. First we are going to talk about the rise of BRICS and why it matters. Cuba's application to join BRICS is a bold move that's capturing global attention, and for good reason. BRICS, representing Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is a coalition of emerging economies that together account for nearly 40% of the world's population and over a quarter of global GDP. This alliance has grown into a formidable entity, challenging Western economic and political dominance in areas such as trade, finance, and governance. As BRICS grows, it increasingly embodies the push for a multipolar world order where power isn't concentrated in the hands of a few Western nations. Since its formation in 2009, BRICS has been an alternative to Western-led organizations like the IMF and World Bank, which are often criticized for imposing political conditions on financial aid. At the heart of BRICS is the drive to foster global multipolarity, a vision of a world with diverse centers of power. BRICS nations believe in economic self-determination, and they support each other in reducing dependence on the West. Together, they represent some of the fastest growing economies, particularly China and India, which have elevated the bloc's influence on the global stage. The alliance has taken significant steps, such as establishing the New Development Bank NDB, which provides financial support to member countries without the conditional strings of Western financial institutions. With projects ranging from infrastructure to renewable energy, the NDB is laying the groundwork for a new global financial architecture. This makes BRICS more than just a coalition of nations, it's a movement pushing for a financial ecosystem that prioritizes the autonomy of its members. Now let's talk about why Cuba is eager to join BRICS. Now, let's turn to Cuba's motivations for joining BRICS. For decades, Cuba has been isolated from international markets, largely due to U.S. sanctions dating back to the Cold War era. These sanctions have restricted Cuba's access to essential goods, resources, and foreign capital, placing immense strain on its economy. As a result, Cuba has faced recurring shortages in everything from food to fuel, as well as major limitations in modernizing its infrastructure. For Cuba, joining BRICS isn't just about forming new alliances, it's about survival and economic rejuvenation. By aligning with BRICS, Cuba stands to gain access to alternative financial resources, such as the New Development Bank. Membership could open doors for significant funding to support infrastructure projects, energy initiatives, and trade ventures, all areas where Cuba desperately needs investment. Moreover, countries like China and Russia, which already maintain supportive relationships with Cuba, would likely deepen their ties, offering both economic and strategic backing that Cuba can't receive from Western powers. Joining BRICS also represents Cuba's attempt to align itself with the Global South, a group of nations that share a common interest in reducing reliance on Western-dominated financial and political systems. Many Global South countries look to BRICS as a model for economic resilience and sovereignty. For Cuba, BRICS membership could offer a renewed presence on the global stage, allowing it to engage with international markets and forge a path toward economic independence. Now let's talk about how Cuba's entry into BRICS could shift global power dynamics. Cuba's potential entry into BRICS isn't just a big deal for Cuba, 
it could have far-reaching consequences for international relations, particularly in the Western Hemisphere. Historically, the US has held considerable influence over Latin America, often using economic sanctions and aid packages as leverage to shape the region's political and economic policies. If Cuba formally joins BRICS, it would symbolize a shift away from U.S. influence, possibly setting a precedent for other Latin American nations that are reconsidering their alliances. One of the most influential BRICS members, China, has already been expanding its footprint in Latin America, investing heavily in areas such as infrastructure, energy, and trade. Cuba's geographical proximity to the U.S. adds strategic importance to this relationship, closer ties between Cuba and China could offer Beijing a foothold near U.S. borders, directly challenging Washington's historical dominance in the region. This development might push other Latin American nations to strengthen their own ties with BRICS, contributing to a broader regional shift away from Western-led alliances. Furthermore, if Cuba joins BRICS, it could inspire other Latin American nations that are already looking into closer ties with the bloc. Many countries in the region have grown increasingly frustrated with the economic pressures of US and European policies and are exploring alternative alliances. With BRICS expanding its sphere of influence in Latin America, we could witness a significant reorganization of political power in the Americas, potentially diminishing the West's long-standing influence. Now let's talk about the impact on BRICS and the global economy. Expanding its membership to include Cuba would be a strategic milestone for BRICS. The bloc has already been inviting nations like Egypt, Ethiopia, and Iran to join, demonstrating its ambitions for a more global presence. If Cuba joins, BRICS would secure a foothold in the Western Hemisphere, transforming it into a truly worldwide coalition. Cuba's connections with other Latin American nations could also make it a gateway for BRICS into additional partnerships in the region, amplifying the bloc's global reach. A larger BRICS coalition would further its agenda of challenging the Western-dominated financial system. The bloc is already exploring initiatives such as a common BRICS currency to reduce reliance on the US dollar in international trade, which could shift economic power balances. By including Cuba, BRICS would reinforce its commitment to creating an alternative economic model, one that gives smaller and developing nations a path to economic stability without the need to depend on Western financial institutions. In a world where financial influence often dictates political power, BRICS is sending a powerful message. For countries struggling to break free from debt traps or political conditions imposed by Western banks, BRICS represents a beacon of hope for a more equitable financial landscape. With each new member, the alliance grows stronger, pushing toward a multipolar world where economic policies are set not by a handful of powerful nations but by a diverse coalition representing billions of people. Cuba's bold application to join BRICS marks the beginning of a new era in geopolitics. The decision on Cuba's membership could prove to be historic. If Cuba is welcomed into BRICS, it would join the ranks of emerging powers determined to reshape global alliances and economic systems. What will this mean for the future of global finance, trade, and political influence? And how will a strengthened BRICS alliance alter the role of traditional Western powers in an increasingly complex global landscape? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analysis of global economic trends and geopolitical shifts. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so don't hesitate to leave a comment below. How do you think the potential expansion of BRICS might impact the dominance of the US dollar and Western financial institutions in the coming years? Let's continue this conversation and explore what the future holds for global alliances.